Good morning, it's Miss Parker on your CHS teacher takeover. Uh, I'm the head of year 10 and a member of the religious studies department. Uh, it's a really exciting day at Tudor Hume School. It's the first GCSE um, exam. We've obviously had our speaking exams uh, over the last few weeks, but our first written papers today. So good luck to our historians. Uh, and it's also the uh, last day for our year 11s. So um, stay with me and I will show you what a day uh, for me is like in Sheila Hume School. So it's Thursday morning and at eight o'clock um, some members of staff we all get together and we talk about uh, issues in, in teaching, we talk about our professional development. Uh, we've had an incredible uh, programme this year that has been put together by the wonderful Mrs Dalton Woods. Um, I think you've already seen her in a few other stories over the last couple of weeks. She does have many hats but this is her CPD hat um, and I'm going to share with you a few of the um, ideas that Mr Cartwright is going to bring to us today. Is digital innovation um, lead. So um, I basically, it, it's quite a cool title, but I basically get to troll Twitter and social media and read different papers um, and then filter for the teachers, staff and the juniors what will and won't work um, in terms of to support teaching and learning. Um, now, um, the visualiser in terms of uh, live modelling and rose and charge principles and we've talked as well, Rachel and I, about um, the best ways to live model in terms of um, Cavagioli and um, Sherrington's uh, walkthrough books. Um, the the visualiser is one of the best ways to support live modelling in your lesson. So I'm heading off to the finance office now to talk them through the financial plan for um, my own trip. Uh, hopefully this means that we can uh, get moving with the trip as soon as possible. Um, be really exciting for all of our pupils to have the opportunity to go and do these incredible enrichment trips that we've obviously lost out on uh, for the last few years. Um, so I'll keep you updated. Hiya, so um, Beth and I from our wonderful finance team have just been going through uh, everything for our Rome trip and we are uh, good to go. Um, so hopefully that letter will be getting out um, to our RS students for the sixth form. So I'm in Holden, uh, Holden Hall here with um, some Year 11s. It's a bit of a calm before the storm. Um, it's their last day, so obviously they are all coming together um, to celebrate Period 3. I'm here with three absolutely wonderful Year 11s. Um, how are you feeling about your last day? Really sad. Yeah. Sad, mixed, excited. Mixed feelings. Mixed feelings. Have any of you done your exam this morning? No. Oh, well, at least you've had that bit, which you haven't had to do. Yeah, yeah. 10 days left. First exam. Ten days left. Okay. Um, we'll keep looking for some year 11s and find out a little bit more about what they are expecting from this bit. Hi, it's Mr. Michelle Cross again, uh, saying goodbye to my Form 11G today. Uh, I've made them some little bracelets so that they can um, have some good thoughts while they are doing their GCSEs. And we've got some more year 11 form tutors over here ready to say goodbye. <laughs> How are you feeling about saying goodbye to your forms today? Sad. Great. <laughs> <laughs> So we've got some Year 11s here signing their shirts um, before their final assembly. Um, guys, give me a big smile. Are we excited for our final day? Yes, we are. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, we're up here at the PAV waiting for the Year 11s. We're preparing for their barbecue. Have you got anything you'd like to say to the Year 11s as they're approaching? Well, I was about to say, I'm preparing for the barbecue, haven't you? I'm near the preparation for the barbecue. We've got lots going on, though. Sizzling some sausages, and I hope they're all very well behaved, and uh, look forward to seeing them again next year. Thanks very much. So I'm out here on my uh, lunch duty, <laughs> and I've got a few students that have asked me if they could be in it so that they can say something lovely about CHS. CHS is really good and um, we're really enjoying it and RS is one of the best lessons. So if you're in year 11, take RS for your GCSEs. It's a really friendly yeah. and good place to work and you meet lots of new friends and good teachers. And uh, there's loads of good sports and things to play and there's always something to do. Brilliant, so there you have it. Okay, I'm with my Year 13s. It's their second to last lesson. <laughs> they are incredibly excited about being Instagram stars. Yeah. 
They think that they are... Um, I'm not sure about it, really, but at least they're here. Everybody wave. Excellent. We're going to get on and do some work now. Welcome to period five. I am with the absolutely delightful 7K, who are going to show you um, how they welcome their visitors into the, their lesson. Hey! So it's the end of period five. We have made it to the end of the day. I'm here with Dr. Jackson, another member of the RS department. Dr. Jackson, what's been your favourite part of today? Um, actually, probably my break due today because it was a very nice day and I had some lovely conversations with some of my year nines. So that was actually a really nice break. Oh my goodness, what a lovely way to, to spend your break time. Um, my day is not over. I'm going to head over to after school detention now, but I'm not going to take you there with me. I hope you all have a really lovely evening. Um, thank you for being with me today.